when I got into high school, um, one of the kids that wrestled, he was like, hey, Tito, you ever thought about wrestling? I go, wrestling? Like, WWF wrestling? WWE now. But yeah, yeah. Like, WWF wrestling? He's like, no, like, real, like, a real Olympic wrestling. I was like, well, why did he thing. ask you that? What, what was the background? Because, because you started, when did you start? He, well, he wrestled uh, his seventh and eighth grade year, mm -hmm. and I didn't know that. And when we used to play around, he used to throw me around all the time. I was like, what are you doing, dude? How do you know these things? Yeah. I, I, I watch WWF. I mean, this is the same type of moves. Yeah. He's like, no, it's collegiate wrestling. So I walked into the wrestling room at Huntington High, and I walked in. I was like, where's the ring at? <laughs> Not assuming what wrestling and sure. professional wrestling are two separate sports, um, I said no. This is this is collegiate wrestling. This is wrestling that you'll see in the Olympics. This is wrestling that mm. it, it is tough. I go, but you can still throw guys on their head, right? And not get in trouble. They're like, yeah, yeah. And it changed my life in general. It showed me what hard work. It showed me dedication. It showed me structure. structure. It showed me a lot of things that I needed to learn as a man, but I was still a kid. Mm -hmm. And making through those four years of wrestling in high school, it saved my life. I. Um, now, how were your coaches? Were they? Did they help you? Uh, do you have coaches that you look back on and think, "Wow"? Yeah, there really was. There was a few coaches. Uh, there's actually the head coach there, Bob Rice uh, from Huntington High School. He took a little liking to me. He was a little bit older, but then there was an assistant coach, Paul Herrera, who fought in the UFC also, who later on became my best friend. And he came into the wrestling room, and at that time, I was uh, just coming into my junior year. I was ranked in the, uh, in, the in the league. Wasn't raked in the county yet. Uh, wasn't raked in the state yet. And he took a liking to me. He was like, you're a tough kid because yeah. every time he would whoop on me, I would keep coming back for more. I'd keep coming back for more. I was never quitting. I was kept coming, kept coming, kept coming. He's like, you have the heart and dedication to be the best. I was like, I, I just want to be the best. I, I want to be the best in this room. I want to be the best in the state. I want to be the best in this county. And he's like, Tito, you can make it happen. You just got to work for it. So there was times that wrestling practice would be over and we'd still be working and other kids would be like, why are you still working? I'm like, because I want to be the best. I want to be the best I possibly can.